pitchers and catchers have started reporting to Florida and Arizona. In the meantime, we still have plenty of big names left on the board in free agency, including superstar sluggers Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. That means, we've got a healthy supply of hot stove buzz in February. To give you an idea of what's out there this Wednesday, we're here to round up all the notable rumors. As always, our free agent tracker is a great way to catch up on what's already happened on that front. Let's round up the activity for the day here. Phillies extend NOLA, avoid arbitration hearing view profile The Philadelphia Phillies agreed to a contract extension with right-handed ace Aaron NOLA on Wednesday. The club confirmed the four-year deal that includes a club option for 2023. Nella's new contract is worth $45 million, Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic reports. Nola had one of the best seasons by a Phillies starting pitcher in 2018, and finished third in voting for the National League Cy Young Award. In the breakout season, he went 17-6 with a 2.37 era in 33 starts. Nola finished second in the NL in era 2.37 and third in innings, 212 and a third, and whip 0.97. Nola, out of LSU, was the Phillies' first round draft pick in 2014. More on the deal here. Severino, Yankees have discussed extension view profile two parties who probably took interest in the Nola deal. Luis Severino and the Yankees. Per John Heyman of Fankard, Severino and the Yanks have discussed an extension of their own, Yankees and Luis Severino have had extension talks, as well, but no word they are close yet. Sevy's scheduled are appearing has yet to be heard, John Heyman, at John Heyman, February 13, 2019 Severino, 25 in a week, is coming off a ninth place finish in Cy Young Award voting. He started 32 times last season, recording a 129 era and 4.78 strikeouts per walk. Presumably the Yankees would like to secure Severino on a deal similar in length and payout to the one Nola just signed. Severino, though, would be within his rights to want more money over a shorter term, Red Sox still unwilling to spend for Kimbrell View Profile Red Sox President Dave Dombrowski seemed to shut down any possibility of re-signing top free agent reliever Craig Kimbrell when he addressed the media Wednesday as pitchers and catchers reported to spring training. Dombrowski told reporters that their closer in 2019 will likely be internal. Back in January, Dombrowski told USA Today's Bob Nightingale that the Red Sox have not anticipated having a large expenditure for a closer. Asked Dombrowski if the Red Sox outlook on not having a big expenditure at the closer position would change on a one-year deal and he was steadfast that it wouldn't. Seems like a certainty that Craig Kimbrell will not be with the Red Sox in 2019. DD said closer likely, internal, Jason Mastro Donato, at J Mastro Donato, February 13, 2019 How will Dave Dombrowski replace Craig Kimbrell, somebody internally? It's not easily done. To me he's a future Hall of Famer, Chris Mason, at by Chris Mason, February 13, 2019 Kimbrell, 30, had a 2.74 era while converting on 42 of 47 saves in 2018. Although he was shaky in last year's postseason, Kimbrell still converted on all his saves. His career, he has converted on all seven of his save opportunities in the postseason, six of those came during the Red Sox's World Series run last year. Kimbrell's former teammate Chris Sale isn't too happy about how this winter has treated the seven-time All-Star and CBS Sports No. 12 ranked free agent. On Wednesday, Sale shared some of his thoughts with media. Chris Sale says it's crazy, Craig Kimbrell is still a free agent. Believes it's a product of, in his words, too many teams, collecting checks, instead of competing. Kimbrell, he said, makes any team better, Pete Abraham, at P-Tape, February 13, 2019 A's signed free agent outfielder Grossman View Profile The Oakland Athletics have agreed to a one-year contract with free agent outfielder Robbie Grossman, according to Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic. The deal is worth $2 million and also includes some incentives, Susan Slusser of the San Francisco Chronicle reports. 
Rosenthal, February 13, 2019 Grossman, a switch hitter, spent last season with the Minnesota Twins. He slashed .273, .367, .384 in a career-high 129 games. The 29-year-old has mostly played corner outfield positions throughout his six-year MLB career. Grossman's role for the A's in 2019 is unclear, but he seems like a good platoon outfielder along with Nick Martini, Chad Pinder, Mark Cannon or Dustin Fowler. The club is most likely planning to use Grossman against left-handed pitchers. The Grossman signing also makes any one of the A's extra outfielders available in a trade, if necessary. Giants acquire God from Nets, Kateo moved to 60-day DL view profile The San Francisco Giants acquired right-handed reliever Trevor Gott from the Washington Nationals, the teams announced, on Wednesday. In return, the Nationals will receive cash considerations. The Giants placed Johnny Cueto on the 60-day disabled list to clear a roster spot for Gott. Cueto, who is recovering from Tommy John's surgery last August, won't be ready until the end of 2019, at the earliest. Official, RHP Trevor got acquired from Washington for cash considerations. Johnny Cueto placed on the 60-day DL. After a promising 2015 rookie campaign, Gott did not pan out as hoped for the Nationals, who acquired him in a December 2015 trade from the Angels. Fister retires view profile If you've been wondering where Doug Fister would land this winter, well, wonder no more, he's opted to retire from the sport. Fister, 35, spent last season with the Rangers, posting a 4.50 era in 66 innings while striking out more than twice as many as he walked. For his career, he compiled more than 1,400 innings and nearly 20 wins above replacement. Fister finished 8th in Cy Young Award voting in 2014 as a member of the Washington Nationals.